We're reacting to angry cops. She hates the U.S. military, man. If you don't get your ass out of here, you're probably a twister that live in the United States of America, the land of the free, the home of the brave. World War One, World War Two, back to back champions. If you don't like living in America, then you can move back to wherever you came from. Don't disrespect my brothers and arms and my sisters. All right, as we got that intro out of the way, let's dive into the video. Let's see what AC got to say about this. I have no pity at all for any food soldiers. Damn. I have no pity at all for any food soldiers. U.S. Oh, why? military, boo who? I hope you get PTSD. Oh, you're like, oh my God, I want food. Camaro, no student loans, boo. Nothing is certain except death and taxes. Facts. And people on social media saying stupid <laughs> about the military. Got there Two right. words were never spoken. Would you believe that this 27 year old, yeah, that's a 27 year old. Okay. Woman, I guess. With tens of viewers, wow, dozens right, right, right. and singular dozen, hates U.S. soldiers and wants them to be mentally tortured by PTSD. Oh, mm, some would say that's a bad day. I mean, ready to get tortured with PTSD, depression, alcohol. I mean, no one. Anyways, we're not gonna dive into that, but let's continue. I'm one of them. And why does she want U.S. troops to suffer? Well, duh, cause imperialism, cause Palestine. <laughs> Don't leave me here. Have a look for yourself. I have no pity at all for any mm. soldiers. U.S. military, I hope you get PTSD. While living in the comfort, while living in the comfort of your home in the United States, protected by the same military, protected by you know the Koskis, the Army, the Navy, and if we're in, we go to war, and then if you have a citizenship, guess what? You might get drafted. Who knows? If if you really stand in ten toes down for your people, go help them. You obviously got the funds to do it. Go help them. And because of her statements, this chunky lady is getting a little times. bit of blowback. By far more people than I've ever watched her live streams. Now, Damn. do you think she learned her lesson, or do you think she doubled down? Or did she make an apology and then double down? Well, I'll give you the full spiel. But first, okay, give me a word from this video sponsor. Make your money! <laughs> AC, hey, make your money. Oh. Get yourself a free fume topper with your order of a journey pack today. Make your money, make your money. Now, let's dig into this. Let's meet our rising star, Frodo. I mean, Frogan. Frodo. Frogan? Frogan? Thanks, Frogger. I don't know ha! nor care. The Gaza gobbler herself. It's Damn. funny to say rising star because that's exactly the award that she won at the streaming awards. I think run by Twitch. Not 100% sure. Not 100% caring. Not my right, jam. Right, Never right. really got into award shows. MTV in the late 90s, early 2000s when Diddy Facts. was in charge of the parties. Oh, God. No. Oh, oh. Whoa, well, we can't say that, AC. Is that, is that when they peaked? When Diddy was in charge of the parties? Oh, but nah. But a rising star, she is no longer. Oh, Icarus. Flying too close to the sun. Because on one of her streams, one of which I can no longer find on the internet, probably write right. it down, wouldn't remember. Right. Frogger makes a damning statement about US military members that she doesn't really care for them. I have no pity at all for any mm. soldiers. That they deserve to get PTSD. I hope you get PTSD. That if you signed up to better yourself so you could maybe buy a right. car, help right. pay for student loans, that right. you're a piece of. Oh, what? Like, oh my God, Damn! Camaro, no student loans. F you. Now I understand why some people got upset. I mean, I feel a little called out because the only way I was gonna pay for college is if I joined the military. The military. I yep, knew yep. in fifth and sixth grade the only way I was paying for college was joining the army, and that was yeah. before 9/11. I'm not that old. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? What's wrong with trying to better yourself by joining the military? It's one thing that I just absolutely can't stand about anti-military morons, regardless if they're a hippo in a hijab or some scrawny, <laughs> cancerous-looking high school teacher. What are the fastest ways to get out of oh, the lower God. class or the lower middle classes to join the military? The military. Get Facts. some experience. Learn Facts. some discipline. Gain a skill. Become a Facts. part of a brotherhood and then continue forward. Or just stay in the military if you're called to that oh. and he's not lying for that joining the army for me personally has changed my life forever and i would do it all over again even though some moments i did have some moments i hated being in the army at some points we all had that moment bro and honestly i would do it all over again i would do basic training five times in a row because basic was fun in my opinion all these moronic kids that are saying you're just dying for the rich and wealthy people are probably the idiots that have had a silver spoon up their ass the entire Facts. time having college paid for by mommy and daddy and Facts. never had to work a day in their life here's Facts. some skills you learn pretty quickly how to work out how to eat healthy things right. that you uh, chunky gal 
probably oh, need to nah. study. Which, AC. Oddly enough, it's something that she studied. Those who can't teach, I guess. Wait, why am I she so says it in one of her streams that it used to be on her Twitter handle that she studied something about like nutrition or like how to stop Ooh. people from eating their feelings and well, she didn't take her own advice. Looking a little too thick. And this brings me to my second <laughs> point. Everyone in the military, regardless of branch, is right. not the gunslinging infantrymen that you see in action movies. Okay? You've got re He does got a point. So so you saying fuck me. I was this dude that give give the infantry ammo. <laughs> I was the ASB. I was the guy that's handing out ammo, but fuck me, huh? <laughs> you've got fuelers, you've got pipe fitters, you've got yep. engineers, not ones that just blow up bridges, but ones that build them. Right. Horizontal engineers that build houses, fix roads, lawyers, right. doctors, electricians, yep. cooks, guys who clean up hazardous materials, and people flying or driving helicopters, trucks, Thanks. and airplanes yep. to deliver aid to people. One of the reasons why the Department of Defense has such a massive budget is because we're constantly flying people out for tornadoes, horrible world <laughs> events, conflicts that you might be familiar with. And we'll talk more about that. Oh yeah, let's we'll talk more about that. So yes, myself and other people get a little irritated when you make blanket statements about everybody in the military is bad. Now let me continue to educate Fago over here. <laughs> Why, the strike, yo, the strike one is wow. Yo, AC, I, I like it. I fucks with it. I fucks with it heavy. People like might it. be upset about the things that she said. We, military members here, looking at them, right, have yep. no say on where we go, all right? We, we don't. We rely on you, the American people, the public, to vote competent people into political positions right. to include the president of the United States the and commander in chief with the trust that you've given to that person to represent you those people in our government tell us where to go and what to do do you think that it was every marine infantryman's dream to pull out of Afghanistan the way that we did do you think that yep. i wanted to go to iraq yep. twice because turns out the yellow cake uranium didn't mean <laughs> and after you remove Saddam, who's a horrible piece of by the way, Iran's now <laughs> just wrecking havoc over there. No, other people told me what to do, of which we all voted on. And the people that you voted on is the why, reason why we can't do shit. Looking at you, left side. I don't, I don't get political on my channel, but left side of the fence. The saying. And hoping that they had the power and the brains to do the right thing and then we were all let down weren't we weren't yep. we oh but it's our fault we're the bad man military guy oh and you stepped in it didn't you fedor huh <laughs> didn't fedor. you step in it when you said you hope we all get ptsd Ooh, what a poisonous vitriolic thing to say 27 Rex. years old saying these things but you've got the mind of a child when you actually see somebody getting poisoned with ptsd how you would wish that on nobody how even if somebody has it slightly and works their way through it it still creates a barrier in their life relationships ruined lives ruined addiction Married starts moving. yep Yep, oh, but yep. you wish this on somebody because they're not in control of where they go or what they do. They're just stuck in a spot, given some orders by the people that we vote into power. But yep. I'm the bad guy. I'm speaking the bad facts. guy. Do you hey, see he's speaking how facts. dumb you sound? And this entire BS conversation is in the middle of her shoveling food in her mouth, looking like she's giving some... Yeah, and then she's eating eggs. Anyways, random guy outside of the screen, some good head, and her hey, being like, oh, thank you so much for the gift. <laughs> By the way, these guys are trash. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, $20, yeah. $20, yeah. I appreciate you so much, Gorglub. What kind of dystopian future do we live in where some kind of obese pig person with makeup all over her face smashed on it with a nose ring thinking that she looks like... Thumbnail. Let's go to you. The next fresh oh, nah. tomorrow can spew oh, such nah, stupidity that might be my while though. shoveling fast food in her mouth and saying, thank you for the $5 donation. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting on my nerves so much. It's like she's the Hezbollah version. Of hey, wait, wait a minute. AC, Miss Opportunity. Where is the angry drill sergeant? Should have pulled him out. Of the fat Rob Reiner Miss Opportunity. South Park. I'm Rob Reiner. Oh, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all right, gang. It's all right? She made an apology. She made an apology tweet, right? Couldn't make a video about it. Right. Couldn't live stream it. Send it right. out to the masses. No, she made a tweet. Hey, something's better than nothing. 
Let's read it together, shall we? I didn't know you The U.S. military has conducted some of the most horrific crimes against humanity in the modern era in countries such as Iraq, Afghanistan... Oh, cry me a river. The same people that attacked 9-11. The same people that's killing people across the world. And unfortunately, civilians get caught in the crossfire. There's nothing we can do about it. Golly. Syria, Lebanon, and Palestine. Palestine a country? Zing! Let's talk about that. Afghanistan? Afghanistan was in retaliation to 9-11. You Thank know, you. the largest terrorist attack on yep. the United speak, States. Speak since, it. You know, speak it. I'm not going to say anything. And I'll be honest, that's one of the reasons why I signed up. I couldn't wait to go to Afghanistan and disperse a little bit of justice. Yes. Play some Toby Keith. Play some Toby Keith right now. Yep. Copyrighted. Yep. And like I stated before, while I admit Iraq was a little bit of a quagmire, and because of it has allowed Iran to run absolutely wild, if we right. went back in time, I would set fire to Afghanistan again in yes. a heartbeat. Which, if we're being honest, is probably... Even though I never deployed, I was more stateside, but if I had a choice, because 9-11 for me, when I was a kid when 9-11 happened, I set my mind to join the military. And we were still at war with them by the time it was in. Probably gonna happen again because Osama bin Laden's son is walking in daddy's footsteps and gathering all the troops together again. Yep. Yippee! How many, How many times, times we got to teach you this, this lesson, lesson, old man? man? Now in Syria, we were fighting ISIS. I mean, and Iraq later on, too. Remember all ISIS? Right. Those guys that were putting people in cages and yep. setting them on fire with mm -hmm. gasoline and diesel fuel? Yeah. It, do you want to be on those guys' side? You're going to have yeah. to clarify this statement to me a little bit. This sounds like you're really for the bad guys here. And what have we done in Lebanon and Palestine except for send out a crap ton of aid? You Facts. remember the Joe Biden like floating barge thing that was a complete and utter disaster, but that nonetheless part. still gave out a whole bunch of aid to Palestinians? That part. Was forgetting about that? When have we dropped any bombs on Palestine in the recent? But we were talking about. They want to say, well, since Israel is allied with the United States, it's still our, our fault for some odd reason. We cannot win with these people with these arguments. We just cannot. We just cannot. If y'all if guys really, truly want to support your people, go send y'all money. Go over there. Start, start putting in the work. Instead of sitting behind the screen. Cursing my fucking brothers and sisters out. About recently, right? Since October 7th. You're helping Israel. We're also helping the Palestinians in Lebanon. And honestly, yep. ah, kind of tired of helping everybody out over there. Personally, we need to help ourselves at compare this point. The people in the hurricane first, you know. But hey, yeah, here we are. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to help out everybody because our hearts yep. are so damn big. Oh, well, that makes us bad. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. We're all pieces. We're, 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 we're all pieces of shit. America lives in it, is morbidly obese because of it. Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> my anger is directed at individuals who are currently championing these war crimes as if they liberated my people. Who are your people? That's what I want to know. ISIS? Are they Hezbollah? Somebody yeah. made a statement on a, a live stream a little while ago stating that maybe her cousin died in Hezbollah and she's really proud of him. Well, wow. Whoa. I whoa. I hope that's not true. Probably go against you in that considering they're a terrorist organization that's attacked the United States, specifically Marine Barracks. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. It's horrific. Just and saying. Disgusting. The beginning of the clip was worded poorly, and I do apologize for that. Worded poorly. Poorly. You said exactly uh, what you felt. Yeah. You said okay. exactly what you okay. felt. Hey, you know, okay. Yeah, okay. You know, we got to take our wins so we can get them. Worded nah, 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 nah. So, Fuck that. Stay on, on business. I want to clarify in the clip that I do not mean all military, but specifically those with no remorse. You also said those that just joined for Camaro, college, college and everybody. So, you said pretty much everybody. Why aren't you talking about that? That didn't uh -huh. seem about like the remorse part. What I said was out of frustration as they are currently bombing my family in the name of liberation. Who are they? Who's bombing? If you can find me the unit number, the plane, any U.S. Air Force personnel, bomber, striker, fighter over there in Palestine, please tell me where. Tell me the aircraft type. Tell me if they're United States flag flying over that part of the world. I call bullshit. On that, I nope, I don't accept that. We're bombing. Who is your family? Who are we, who are who are we bombing? To? Are you literally in a terrorist family? You're like, hey, all we want to do is just bring death to America, and they won't let us <laughs> in their face. Well, yeah, yeah, we won't let you go yourself. 
Facts. I realize that wishing people harm isn't the best way to talk about these issues, and that I could have uh, talked about womp, these topics womp, in a more womp. sensitive way. Womp, womp, womp. I appreciate that. I'm womp, glad womp, womp. that you wish you could have been more sensitive. Let's see how sensitive no. you were when you did a reaction to that video. We talked about her original video right. and then her apology, but guess what? There's a spot in between where she reacted to her video and tells us how she really feels. <laughs> oh, we missed this? <laughs> I bet you it's in line with her apology. Let's watch, shall we? And they posted it in my head. I'm like, uh, base? <laughs> oh, nah. Nah, that Twitter policy, out of there. That Twitter apology, out of there. Base! Wow, giggling. Oh, oh, very sensitive. Laughing at this. Yes, yeah, very sensitive. Yeah. Pardon me while I quote you. I'm not walking back on it. I still agree with it. Like, like I'm not walking back on it. I still can agree with it. Oh. So she's out of cliff farming or she's being dead serious. I know she would never say it in somebody's face. Hey, one of my ladies veterans, bro. If I ever see her. They do us all a favor as the United States military personnel, active duties, reserve, veterans. Just, 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 just a one time, you know. Everybody got a plan. Everybody got something to say on the internet until they get punched in the face. IRL. That's all I got to say. So much for that apology. It's almost like the apology was an afterthought. <laughs> yeah. Like you did it because you knew you were so f***ed up, but you couldn't even apologize all the way. You had to make a whole bunch of excuses. Had exactly. Had to double down on that take. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. See how it works out. Well, it didn't work <laughs> out too good because <laughs> her apology, she left the comments off. But you oh, know, of course, it doesn't of have course. to be the video that you made that of people course. get upset on for people to leave comments on you. You've got a whole slew of videos and shenanigans that people leave comments damn. on. How are they going? Damn. Ooh, not damn. good. Ow. Ouch. Damn. Funny, inappropriate, but funny. Yep, kind funny. of exactly how you thought it would go. Well, at least how I would. Or just a poor weather balloon covered up with a tablecloth. Now listen up, you 27-year-old woman, child, soft-brained idiot. Damn. Free speech is an amazing thing. It's Facts. fantastic. We all get to go out in this weird world yep. and say yep. whatever we want. Of but course. saying whatever you want in the fantastic First Amendment and right to free speech that we... There's action for your consequences. You want to be... Say something right the r word go for it it's america you want to complain about the government go ahead it's america you want to talk about troops make sure you bring facts to the table before you say something redonkulous ac brought all the facts we have doesn't mean that that free speech comes without repercussions exactly you, see, you have your right to your own opinions and right. if those opinions are overtly retarded people who oppose your views i just want to tell you have the right to sh all over you verbally now of course while recording and writing this video turns out that frogger here frogo Fago, <laughs> what the hell is that frogan right brogan got a ban from twitch she which I'm going to be honest here. Kind of a free speech absolutist, right? <laughs> now, as much as we find it irritating and horrible that she said she wishes people got PTSD, I've heard far worse things on the internet, and I don't think that she should be banned or kicked off of the platform for... That's a hot take, AC, and I respect your hot take, but me, you know, me personally, I don't wish no one in life to have PTSD. I don't have it. I never been a boy or anything, but I see when it's done to one of my family members. I don't, I don't, you know, you gotta take your battles, but I respect your opinion, AC. Saying something stupid. People make mistakes. We need to learn from them and move on. I, think I know the people day are gonna see this it. as a win. Oh, she got what's coming to her. She got banned. But even me, as one of the people that she's picking on in the military who has absolutely no remorse for doing whatever I did in Iraq, right, right. had a great time. <laughs> oh god was hey 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 was fbi so is here back a second time because free speech <laughs> is uncomfortable and it's supposed to be uncomfortable yeah true as true, much true. as i disagree with this obese person's smugness and point of view on military members and what we should deal with and who she thinks the bad i mean to be honest in the military we do talk 
Anyways, I'm not gonna expose. I'm not exposing the E4 Mafia secrets. Guys are in. I think she might think that the terrorists are the good guys. Either way, she should yeah. still be able to air out her grievances and ideas, and have people like us discuss them with her. And sometimes those discussions are gonna turn vitriolic. But it exactly. needs to be discussed in the masses, regardless of how stupid or idiotic the topic is. This fan is soft, honestly. There wasn't even a racial slur in there, even though she loves to say cracker. cracker! and is just ultra white. I, I don't know what <laughs> privilege she's trying to hide, but she'd definitely be white. This butch puts mayonnaise on everything and <laughs> Damn. overtly obvious. So let the people tweet. Let yep. the people call her out. Let her make her videos so then I can make videos on them. Yes, Hopefully she looks yes. at this backlash and understands that oh, maybe I, she made a AC, AC, wait a minute. You might be on to something. Yeah, let her, let her keep going. Let her keep going. So... We can collect that AdSense, you know what I'm saying? And she can learn <laughs> from this, but you can lead a horse to water or a cow, but you can't make them drink. Right. Oh, did you think that I was done? Wait, <laughs> no, what? Because it's time, yes, after a wardrobe change, to hear a word from everybody's favorite washed up porno actress. Take it away, me. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing this. To everybody who is not in the U.S. military. Good morning to everybody who is sitting at home and not on soil that doesn't belong to them, fighting a war for a country that doesn't care about them. I hope you go over there and get your little brain all scrambled up with PTSD and then come back here and see how much the United States cares about you, Pookie. See how much they care about you when you come back with, oh, I'm so sad. I piss my pants every time I see a falafel stand in Manhattan. Let's see how much the VA cares about you. Let's see what they tell you to do with your little broken brain from going over to fight a war that's not yours. They're gonna tell you to try breathing exercises because the U.S. government does not give a fuck about you once you cannot die for them. Once you're done, once you're a shell. Oh they... my God! What? Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Hold on, man. Wait, what? I, what? What? What are we talking about, Mia Khalifa? Ma'am, what? What are we talking about? This is. I think I replied to this on Twitter. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to leave this picture here if I could find it. Because your hot takes. Oh, she's going to get eaten up by the internet, honestly. She might get torched by the internet for this shit. Oh, yeah, I did reply. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's you, right? You can't go. No, I'm not, we're not going to go there. Let's continue. We don't care about you. What did I say on Z-Way that one time? Yeah, I think that's, I think that still stands as very accurate. Now, am I surprised that Mia Khalifa <laughs> you put on the same picture. is upset and <laughs> on the military? No, because Mia Khalifa is a grifter. She yeah. saw something that got a bunch of people attention and decided that she would exploit it for herself because nobody yep. cares. Yep. You see, Clip Mia bait. Khalifa, after being banged out by a whole bunch of random bros and smashed across the internet, decided that she wanted to be taken seriously. Ooh, girl power. And started doing talk <laughs> shows, you know, podcasts, want to be a podcaster, wanted to do sports. I think she even became a part of Barstool Sports at one point. But guess what? That failed because she's not interesting. She's not Facts. fun to listen to. She's vapid and air. The only reason she's interested in when she's getting headed and makes horrible takes just like the one you just saw so after doing the pornos and then trying something else and actually being sad and saying i wish people would take down the porn you had a choice something called free will you had a choice to get in that industry and you went full sent into it well, she started her OnlyFans and website up again, so she's back to sucking hog. But of course, exactly. our Mia can't stay out of the limelight for too long. So she's got to come up with another one of her hot takes on global military issues. Just because she <laughs> got a good set of torpedoes doesn't mean you know anything about combat. Facts. The military. Facts. The amount of aid that we give. Oh, I thought Facts. I said that already. I'll say it again. How unoriginal can you be where she tries to think of the same thing that Frogger said, but in just, she says it in a dumber way. The entire video <laughs> is not insulting. It's just bad. Not it's bad horrible. She says bad it's things. just horrible. It's just not even a good joke or a way of 
putting forth her thoughts. It's 59 seconds of brain rot. The only yep. thing left inside that skull of hers is probably the past 50 guys loads. And is it me You're not right. her nose get bigger? Being a retired porn star is a lot like being the hot high school teacher after the kids left and then came back after college and got to see all the fine tail running around literally everywhere. You're not special. You did a task <laughs> that anybody can do. And the Frax. only reason why you succeeded in it is because your mouth was stuffed with so much dick you couldn't hey, yo. Talk. Honestly, I don't understand her aggression towards military guys because I'm pretty sure that yeah, while she's living in the United States in Miami, protected by the same military people. But if Miami get invaded and let's say it's from a foreign foreign country, I bet she's calling 911. Where's the military? The U.S. military service members are still feeding you that sweet, sweet green cash that you love so much in order right. to keep the lights on. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Military boys. Hey, let's cut off that corn stuff and put it to somebody else that deserve it who support the military. She is outdated. She's I don't born know, to watch, one anyways. Soldiers dick and say support our troops. Well, getting pounded out by a couple Marines, you boom, you'd be back yep. on top or on bottom or doggy style. Wait, whoa, 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 want. whoa! This AC. Dumb doesn't even know her audience. <laughs> Speaking of audience, if you looked at the comments on her Twitter post, which is where I got that video from, it's almost all bots just being like squirt, squirt, yep. happy face emoji, yep. eye hugs. Yep. You're yep. so babe. What is this? It's gonna go away. And now true, back to true. your regularly scheduled program. Can't wait to see her first stream when she returns. Yeah, sure that will part. be positive. Churchill says she's really sorry. I won't hold Right, it. really sorry unless you go back on our statement. Channels, get yourself a shirt. I have lost so many brain cells. Angry Cops hoodies, the Whoopi hoodies, they're here. Brand new, spanking. We're running out. Uh, it's only been a couple weeks that they've been up, and there aren't a lot left. I think we sold out of 70% of stock already. Damn! So get them for Christmas and hold on to them for two months and then give them to your family or hanukkah Ooh, she probably is not a fan of hanukkah uh, oh oh yeah you can't yeah nope. uh Yom yeah yeah nope. it's another jewish holiday yep ramadan get it for ramadan even though it's in the middle of the summer ac come on lock Whatever. it cheapest lock way to support it. the channel is tell me what you think what do you think of this dope huh you got any cool clips you want to share with me of her saying something else that's pretty stupid I've yeah let her share her opinion but I don't, just don't call the military when y'all get invaded, okay? When y'all cities get invaded or pushed by any foreign country, don't don't call us. Don't even call, don't even call the you. veterans. You think the you, military we're not coming to, to say take a BLM knee to her and tell her that we're sorry that we were in Afghanistan <laughs> or in Syria? <laughs> yeah. Fucking up ISIS. Yeah. I can't wait to read the comments. Okay. See, See you next. next time, weirdos. Stand on business. Oh. Mia Khalifa. Well, this Mia could eat ya. Looking like Jabba the Hutt. More like Jabba the Slut. More hey, like yo. Pizza the Hutt. Nobody's hey, gonna stuff her crust. This broad probably salivates every time she hears sloppy seconds because she's thinking of leftovers. Damn. Looking like you're eating from a trough. Not Damn. Not hello. America. The only place where you can find fat communists. Ian Lion, though. But anyways, y'all guys let me know your opinion down below. I think she's just getting Batman off... Uh, Twitch, in my opinion, fuck that shit. Twitch, if you support the military, just fucking mad him. It's plain and simple. Because I guarantee you got a lot of veterans that stream on that site that deserve better viewership than what we just saw. And Mia Khalifa, just, just get off the internet. Just get off it. Just turn off the phone. Turn off Twitter. Get off. Get, just get it out. Let's turn it all off, okay? Yeah, let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you guys next time.